Hi everyone, it's Ken Duncan, alias Printman! <laughs> and here we are today to talk to you about a very important thing, the need to have a great portfolio. Now what's happened with the advent of digital uh, photography and the digital medium, people tend to think that a portfolio is something that you can have on your iPhone or smartphones or on your tablets and things like this. And really, when people come to me with devices like this, I start to get nervous because I think, oh no, what are they going to do? Because they can hold so many photos in these devices and the next minute they're starting to show me the pictures and they're going, look, look at this and look at this and look at this. And you just overwhelm people. You should never show people more than about 30 pictures because otherwise they just become brain dead and they can no longer really see anything. So keep the number down and really you should never use these devices because as soon as you use something like this, you're downgrading your imagery to just digital fodder because people see this and they relate it to the internet, cheap photography, things like that, Cons consumption level stuff. So I really want to encourage you to do real portfolios where you do real prints so that people can look at them, feel them and really see the quality of your work. So today I'm going to show you how I started and some new techniques to make a fantastic portfolio. Now this is my first portfolio and it's over 30 years old. So here we go and what's so exciting, as soon as you open it and people see the prints they go, wow. And even today they go, wow, these are real photographs and I'm like, yeah, because even now people are less used to seeing real photographs, they're so overwhelmed by social media. So the thing is, this is going to really kick goals. For me, when I took this portfolio to America, uh, this is over 30 years ago, when I went to the biggest gallery, the Light Gallery in New York, I went to the front reception desk and I said, look, I'm here to show my portfolio. And she said, we don't normally do that. You need to make an appointment. And I said, well, can I show you? And she said, sure. And as soon as she opened it up, she went, wow, wow, and she got hooked. And she started going through the pictures and just through that she then was able to get me through to the, the heads of the gallery and the next minute they wanted me to go off and see National Geographic, they wanted me to see Life magazine, all these different things. It was like, whoa, what's, what's happening? All because of a powerful portfolio. And this is a perfect way for you to get feedback on how your work is really touching people. So look at this, you show the picture like this people can sort of feel it. And also when they look at it, they can go, oh, I think I like that on my wall. Oh yes, that will look nice on my wall. Or maybe they want a couple, because people often, when you're selling them prints, you think you're going to sell them one. People often want to buy far more than one print. And they, when you've got prints like this, they can go, they can look at a couple together, like this, this set here is a pair. And so you can say, well look, you can have one, but you can also have that one. And you can hang them together. So this is the way to go and now I'm going to show you some new techniques to doing portfolios with some of the new technologies which means that everyone should be doing one of these portfolios. While preparing for the Wow Factor seminar I did recently, I had to come up with what I considered a really great way to do portfolios and looking through the Hanamula products I found these two great products and uh, I'd like to talk to you about them both because I think these are great ways to do a portfolio. The first one is a collection they make. It's a portfolio collection and it's actually a kit that you buy from them. When I found this, I thought, this is amazing. This was never around when I first started and this technology, you can do inkjet technology. This is actually the paper I use, Hanamula paper. And so what you can do is you can do on inkjet technology, you can do these beautiful prints and then of course they have to be sprayed as well to protect them with the Hanamula spray. But this is something anyone could do. All you need is something like a, a good printer, an Epson printer. But look, if you don't want to print them, send them to a lab. The lab can print them as well. But I would recommend the Epson ink set because it's the most archivally stable ink set, the ultra chrome inks. But here you go. So imagine showing this to people and here's just a few from this collection and then here you can look at the kit. It's actually like a leather case that's been made. It comes with these amazing gloves. Now look, when you show someone a portfolio that's in a box like this and start handing them gloves, they start to take you seriously. And then also in this, it's got some amazing information about a way that you can do limited edition and prints. Hannah Muller are so 
sure of their product and that if you're using their products, the papers and their sprays, they're willing to, to guarantee that their archival permanency is real and also they even have these beautiful certificates that you can actually print up with your name and details on them. And they're made from this really beautiful handmade paper which has this beautiful, I don't know if you can see it there, but it has a, a beautiful water uh, mark in the paper and it's actually got fluorescent striping in it so people know that it's something of quality. And then they come with these stickers and these are holographic stickers which are all numbered. So basically you can have one of these on your certificate and with the information about the print and the number of what it's going to be and you can put one on the certificate and then you can put one on the actual print itself. And then you can actually register it on a site that they tell you about in here, myartregistry.com. But all the information's in here. So when you're showing your beautiful portfolio, you can be showing your prints and you can have a whole collection. Now it comes with 50 sheets of paper. Now I don't recommend necessarily showing 50 prints. Maximum I would say is 40. But having at least 50 sheets, it means you can make a few mistakes and still get it right. Or you can start changing them up because it's very important with the portfolio to really colour it so that you're only showing them the best pictures. People only have a certain amount of time and you don't want to waste their time. So make your portfolio sharp, sweet and powerful to have that real wow factor. Here's the second product from Hannah Muller that I'm really excited about and this is actually a photo book that you can do and it's a fantastic idea for a portfolio because look at this, you can just have your pictures and you can show them, you can have the title and you know just obviously have your name copy written on it and then here look at this, what a wonderful way to show your portfolio. Now that gets lots of wow factor and you're never going to get as good a colour gamut as you can get on this beautiful photo rag paper. And they have different papers uh, for this particular book. So you can have different you know, looks if you want to. But I actually like the, uh, the duo or the, the rag paper, which is great. And so here, what's great about these books is they've got book screws in them. So you can change them at any stage. You can pull them out so they're bound with these book screws. So if you want to, if a print's not getting a lot of response, you can pull it out and put something else in. And the way they're set up, they come as a kit, and this is how they come. They come with instructions so that you can work, on, work out how to put it all together. They're beautifully leather bound, so they're pretty classy. And then they come with these little uh, screws, book screws, as we said before. And you can either do a book with 20 leaves in it or 40 leaves, depending. So you've got two options there. And so there's the whole kit. So this is an amazing way uh, to do a portfolio because basically here it is right there and then when you want to show people they can sit down and just go wow, wow. So there's the wow factor on the Hannah Muller book. So now a very important part is actually to spray the prints to protect them because a lot of people are going to be hopefully handling your book so you want to protect the images as much as possible. So here we have one out of the, the book which has the book screws in it so that's the format for that and then we also have one that's been done for the portfolio. Now something very important to remember when you're doing the design of your portfolio, make sure there's always a lot of white space around it so people aren't just looking at wall-to-wall -wall photograph. Very important thing. So basically, if you're doing this also when you're signing the prints, make sure you sign it with a pigment-based pen uh, so that it'll last. Now the prints need at least 24 hours to dry before you do any spraying. That's an important thing. And so here we go, let's get ready to spray them. Put on a spray mask, a very good idea to protect, you know, getting any of the fumes. Also do it in an open space where you've got plenty of airflow. And so here we go. We've already given this a, we've already given this a good shake, so, so you can hear me. And here we go. Now that's it, voila. Now you have to do one coat, let it dry for about five minutes and then come back and do another coat and then you're going to have a well protected print.
So thank you for joining me on this video. I hope it's been helpful for you. And just remember, next time you show your work, make sure it's with a portfolio that has wow factor.